This is Paul Jenkins, and you're listening to the Reluctant Leader Podcast. Now, I believe two things are true. One, everyone leads someone. And two, no one really feels qualified to lead anyone. So maybe you feel overlooked, unqualified, invisible. But the good news is, in the Bible and in life, the most qualified aren't always the most obvious. If you're like me, you've heard the phrase end times and end time army and last days and Jesus is coming back soon. You've heard that for most of your life. If you've never heard that, you're going to start hearing it because everybody's talking about it. And today I want to tell you why it matters and how our lives will be different when we realize that it does. So if the first thing you thought when you heard this podcast episode was, Paul doesn't sound like he's in a cave, because my good friend Cutright pointed me to a tool that got rid of all that cave sound. You need to go check him out. He's on YouTube. He's on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere you can get music. I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the show notes. Go check him out. Thanks, Cutright, for getting me out of the cave. All right, y'all, I wanted to share with you quickly something that God dropped on me a couple days ago. I was having this conversation with God. I don't know how you talk to God, but I just talk to him like he's in the room with me because, you know, he is. And he asked me this question. I've shared it with um, some leaders in our church. Um, I've shared it this past Sunday with our church. I've shared it with a couple of people because it just impacted me so much. And here's the question that he asked me. He said, hey, Paul. What's the difference between an army and an end time army? Maybe you've never heard of the expression end time army, but it just means like there's going to be, the Bible talks about a a great falling away for sure in the end time, but also there's going to be a great end time harvest, like this huge harvest of souls is going to come to the Lord and to know that, to know the knowledge, not just head knowledge, but heart knowledge of Jesus Christ as their Lord and savior. And, and he said, what's the difference between an army? Because we know that the church is called the army of God and an end time army. And I was like, you know, only you know, Lord, right? I mean, what do you say to God when he asks you a question? There's so much pressure. Should we know the right answer? I'm a pastor. And ah, I just said, hey, God, you tell me what's the difference between an army and an end time army? He said, well, let's talk about, about, about what's not the difference. The difference isn't the mission, right? Because every army has a mission whether they're an army or an end time army. The difference between an army and an end time army is the amount of time that they have to accomplish that mission. Y'all, this started to wreck me because I started thinking about all the ways that I squander time. And right now I feel, and not just me, but a lot of people that I talk to and not just pastors, just followers of Jesus in general, All of us are beginning to sense this urgency of our time, the weightiness of the moments. Are are you in that place? Do you also sense it that there's a weightiness to the days that we're living in? And I believe it's because all of us are becoming aware of the fact that we are running out of time. Now, listen, if you were raised in church, you have heard people say that we're in the end times. Nobody knows. Only the Father knows that. Even Jesus doesn't know, according to Scripture, when the end times are because it's only the Father knows the the day and the hour. But here's what we do know. End times, the end days, sometimes that just means we're living with a finite amount of time. We are in our last days. These are, it's the last days... I saw the movie Jesus Revolution, and one of the things that really struck me was this entire generation that that experimented with drugs and alternative things and psychedelics, and they tried everything they could to find hope and peace. They finally realized that Jesus was the answer to what they were searching for. And the people that preached that, Historians record that one of the things that marked them was an awareness of Jesus's imminent return. It wasn't 
preached in a way to scare people into the faith. It was preached in a way that said, look, we're wasting the time if we're not using it to bring people to Jesus. So some scriptures I just want you to to pay attention to. Psalm 90 verse 12 says, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Why, Why is it that we gain wisdom when we number our days? When we recognize that we only have a certain number of days, it, it should cause us to live differently. Ephesians 5.16 says to make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Some translations say redeem the time. We redeem things that we find valuable. You, you Maybe you have a, a, a gift card that somebody gave you, a gift certificate, and it's it's only valuable when you redeem it, right? You have to use that thing. So you redeem it for the meal because the meal's valuable. And and so what we're looking at in this scripture is let's make the most of every opportunity. Let's redeem the time that we live in because time is valuable. It's the one thing that we are running out of and cannot get back. What, what separates people that get a lot done from people who don't? An awareness that we all have 24 hours in a day and we're going to maximize the, the hours that we have versus we're just going to sit around and do nothing. I want to encourage you, friend, follower of Jesus, his return may not happen tomorrow. But it might not happen for another 100, 200, or another millennia years. But you and I, we share something in common. We are running out of time. Do not put off coming to know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Do not put off proclaiming his goodness to the next generation. Do not put off the very thing that you could do right now because you want to make the most of every opportunity. Spend your life in a way that redeems the time because we don't know how much time we have friend i pray that you make the most of the day that you've been given today that you would redeem it because when we number our days we will live with a heart of wisdom and make the most of every opportunity You've been listening to the Reluctant Leader Podcast. Thanks so much for being a part of this conversation. You can follow us at the Reluctant Leader Podcast.com or wherever you download your podcast. Be sure that you subscribe and like us and leave us a rating and a comment. We'd love to hear from you and hear what God's showing you. And remember this no matter how reluctant you feel, keep saying yes and he'll do the rest.